So let's first make the figure according to the given question. Let's make the triangle in rough. So that is A, B, and C. Uh, we want to find the length of GD. So for that, uh, I have to join this median. This will be a median, guys, because this is the midpoint of BC. In order to find the length of AD, we can use the Ap Apollonius theorem, right? If you simplify this equation, if you want to find the value of AD square, after simplification, I'm uh, skipping some two steps, you'll get AD square is equal to 344 over here. So here we have been given with a triangle ABC with its centroid at G and has side lengths of the three sides given. And it is given that D is the midpoint of BC. So let's first make the figure according to the given question. So we have been given with a triangle ABC. Let's make the triangle in rough. So that is A, B and C. And let's see what uh, the lengths are given. AB is given to be equal to 15. AC is given to be equal to 25. And over here, BC is given to be equal to 18. This is given to be equal to 18. Correct? And it is also given that D is the midpoint of BC. So D over here is the midpoint of BC. And uh, we want to find the length of GD. So for that, uh, I have to join this median. This will be a median, guys, because D is the midpoint of BC. And it is given that G is the centroid over here. I hope th this is clear up till here, guys. Now you see in this question, uh, in order to find the length of AD, we can use the Ap Apollonius theorem, right? That is the Apollonius theorem, right? That theorem is very important if you want to do these type of questions quickly. So you see over here, the Apollonius theorem says that 2 into 2 into AD square over here plus this BD square or you can take CD square, BD square over here, that will be equal to AB square plus AC square. That is the Apollonius theorem, guys. AB square plus AC square. Now over here, you see D is the midpoint of BC and BC is given to be equal to 18. So this will be 9 and this is also 9 over here, right? So let's put the values over here. So it will be 2 into AD square plus BD square over here will be 9 square. And that is equal to AB square that is 15 square plus AC square that is 25 square. I hope it is clear up till here. If you simplify this equation, if you want to find the value of AD square, after simplification, I'm uh, skipping some two steps, you'll get AD square is equal to 344 over here. Correct? And then after this, if you will find the value of AD, AD will come out to be equal to square root of 344 and this will come out to be equal to 2 root 86. Just simplify, you'll get this only. I hope this is clear up till here and there is no unit mentioned in the question. So that will be 2 root 86 units only. Now we want to find GD over here, right? GD is expressed uh, as A square root of D upon B and GD, G is the uh, centroid of this uh, triangle, right? So basically, you know that centroid divides a median in the ratio 2 is to 1. I mean, don't forget that this length is not 2. I'm just writing because it is in the ratio form. Don't think that AG is equal to 2 and GD is equal to 1. It is not like that. It is just a ratio. So from here, what will be GD, guys? Can I not say that GD will be equal to 1 third of, it will be 1 third of AD, guys. I can say that basic ratio concept over here. So GD is equal to one third of AD. So can I not say over here that GD will be equal to AD? We already know that it is this and GD is one third of it. So it will be two by three square root of 86. And this is given to be equal to, this is given to be equal to A root D upon B. This is A root D upon B. So basically you have to find the value of A plus B plus D plus one. So A plus B plus D plus 1 over here. So if you compare these two things, what is AB over here? You see A is 2 and B is 3 over here. And what is D? D is 86 plus 1 over here. So this will come out to be equal to 
86 plus 6 and that is equal to 92. So therefore, the value of a plus b plus d plus 1 that is equal to 92. I hope this question is clear to every student watching this video.